Yo guys, what's going on? It's Chamber here. So today's video is going to hopefully be a lot shorter than my other ones. But this is about making sure that something like a final mouse, I have the Cape Town, two, Cape Town Ultralight 2, is running at 1000 hertz. So a lot of them, final mouse says that they do it because it's a lot smoother. That's what pros perform. If you guys can see right there on the corner, I can actually stop it. You see 500. There's also another one, mouse rate checker. You can download this offline. I might link it in the description. You see 500 hertz. Now, the secret is the PCB inside of this mouse. So basically what the sensor is connected to, what the switches are connected to, is actually the same as what is in the Dream Machine 1 Pro. Not, yeah, DM1 Pro, Pro S. So what you can do is you can download this software. Then what you'll have to do is you'll have to extract it. Recommend 7-Zip for that best thing ever so you'll open it you'll open it then hit the setup.exe then after you go through the setup.exe process it's a very short install you can just hit this and now this will be like whoa something's went weird in the system anyways i don't like this software so i'm gonna show you guys how to remove it but for example you can be like oh disable the dpi button if you want to just run 400 dpi and make sure your dpi never changes so for example i'm on level four this is level one 400 dpi that's what i like but obviously make sure that this enhanced importer position is off make sure acceleration's at five that's all you need for that now this is where you make the polling rate 125 hertz it's garbage 250 terrible 500 some people prefer it i don't a thousand so what you're going to do is you're going to hit a thousand hertz it's going to kind of jitter for a bit and it'll be like all right so now that's right you can actually go through all of these and hit it if you want. I'm not going to. I'm not going to be switching profiles. And I really don't use this mouse. So this is just definitely for. You can set a, save a gaming profile. I really wouldn't. So go in there, set all your changes to make sure that if anything does change, you can. There's no lighting on this mouse. And you can also set macros in here for it. I wouldn't recommend it. They're banned by a lot of stuff. So after that. So as you see, we set to 1,000 hertz. So now we can check it with Zowie, and boom, 1,000 right there. All right, you want to double check? You see, and we're getting 1,000, 1,005 around there. So after that, I would recommend it. As you see, that's right here in my, so you can hit quit. What I do is downloading a something called Revo. Cancel that. My first time opening it. Now hit right click on install. You want to hit OK to uninstall the program. Hit Finish. It will no longer auto start, which is a big deal. It will never be on your system again. Obviously, you don't have to do this if you never want to install it again. Select All. Delete. This just deletes all the basic files from it. Now, you can also install. Actually, never mind. Sorry. I installed the wrong one when I was testing it. I like hitting Program Files x86 to delete that one. And there's nothing left. And yes, that's all that you have to do for this. It's super easy, and your final mouse can obviously get, you might get better aim. I'm not saying it's going to be double the aim as you might think. Just refresh it a little faster. It might feel smoother for you guys. If you don't enjoy it, you can stop. You can download the program again, DM1 Pro, and you can reset it back to 500 hertz. You can go whatever you want. You can do higher than 3200 DPI, even though I would recommend it. Highest I'd really recommend a 1600 DPI, but I have a whole video coming out with that soon that I'm going to work on. So yes, it's been Chamber. Hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll have some more videos coming out soon. Later, guys.